Hi guys, my name's Sean Finney from Concept Chemicals and Coatings in Manchester and welcome to today's Ask the Professor. We've recently returned from exhibiting in a trade show in Orlando, Florida. Uh, it was a, a paintless dent removal show which we were exhibiting compounds and whilst at the show we've actually been given some sample products to test against our P12 Extra and the P40 Extra. So the two products that we've been given as samples to test are what appear to be or what the, the, the end users are telling me are starting to become quite popular in the marketplace. So we've got the Sonax Ultimate Cut, we've got the Sonax Perfect Finish. Now I've never used any of these products so I don't know how they perform. Um, but the customer is actually telling me, he's actually giving me the pads as well to accompany the products. And apparently these two products work best in combination with the Rupees High Performance Coarse Cutting Foam Pad and the High Performance Fine Polishing Foam Pad. So that's what I've been told. I've never used it, but ultimately the customer is actually telling me that the best combination are with the Rupees pads. So let's put it to the test and see what the results are so let's do it so it's going to be measured out products it's timed event and the machine speed is all going to be run at 1500 rpm just for test purposes so in this particular instance all i'm looking at is the level of scratch removal not fling not the level of finish but scratch removal so and we're going to start off with the sonax ultimate cut so like i said earlier i've never used the product before so I don't know if it's grainy, I don't know how it runs, um, but I think realistically if we're measuring products out, timing events, I think that's probably as good as we can get um, for the time being. So we're going to use the rupees pad, quite coarse, it actually feels very very similar to ours. Feels a little bit more liquid than our product. Actually feels a little bit more liquid than ours when you actually pour it out, but as you work it, it actually starts to thicken up slightly, so. Okay, so we're gonna set the clock. Zero, we're gonna stop around and Round about approximately one minute and 30 seconds, so let's do it. Right guys, that's, this is not gonna run for a minute and 30 seconds, so what I'm going to do is run it as close to a minute as I can. One hundred three thirty-one. So what I'm going to have to do is probably hit it with another second application. I appreciate that the pad is is new. Yeah, so we may need to load a little bit more product into it. I'm going to apply another spoonful of product. I'm going to measure the running time of both products and try and get them as close as to one another as I possibly can. So I may need to run the P12 extra a little bit longer for the purposes of the exercise, so. So, second application of product. And we're good to go. So I'm gonna leave the one minute on the clock. And then just look at both products over the time scenario. So with two applications run over a total time of two minutes and 35 seconds. I'm ignoring the splatter, all I'm working on primarily, as I said originally, is the level of cut. So I'm going to reset that now to zero. 
and then we will take a look at the P12 Extra. Actually, they both, both products feel very, very similar, actually. Nice creamy consistency, so... And we're good to go. So again, what I'm going to do, uh, approximately one minute, I'm going to stop, reapply another teaspoonful of product, and then run for the remainder of the one minute, 30 seconds, as per the initial test. Okay, so we'll try and run it for a minute and 30 seconds. And then we can actually evaluate surface areas for level of scratch removal and indeed gloss, so. Straight away, the differences between both products is our product lubricates the surface, it doesn't dry up quite as quick. We'll inspect the surface after wiping down initially without degreasing, just to see what differences, if there were any differences. Um, see if we can spot anything. So both products measured out. So it's a timed event, a minute or two minutes and 30 seconds in this instance. It's two applications. Yeah, and these are the results that we've actually got. So the Sonax product did dry up a little bit quicker than ours. Well, not just a little bit, quite a lot actually, but in all fairness, that could be the pad that's been recommended to use with the product. So I'm not gonna hold that against it at the moment. As you all know, this result is not the result that we would get if we left the vehicle outside two or three, three days after machine polishing in ambient temperatures. So we've got sunlight on it, we've got uh, rain. Um, climatic temperatures will act, which will actually lift any fillers or oils that the products contain. So although these look quite nice and shiny at this particular moment in time there is one clear winner in my eyes but sometimes i look i look through rose colored spectacles so we're going to do a degreasing job and we're only going to degrease through uh, the top sections of the panel and we're going to leave the bottom sections as they are so you've got a before and after scenario So now we've actually got a truer finish. Okay, so now guys, what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring the camera from right to left. So the right hand side is the Sonax product. And then we're going to bring it into the P12 extra side. And then we're going to drop the camera down slightly and actually then look at the level of finish uh, on the surface to the unpanel wiped surface area. So as you can see, there's still quite a lot of scratches. So guys, what we've actually got now, we've got the top section, which has actually been pre-cleaned or degreased with the zirconite panel prep. The bottom section, which has actually not been degreased, 
and as is per the polishing process, this is the finish that we've got. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to degrease all the surface areas and then reassess what we've actually got on both sections with both products. So plenty of product on there. I can apply plenty of, plenty of product because it's free to me. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll just let that sit on there just to lift any oils or fillers from the surface. So we'll give it a little bit of working time so we're not cheating anybody. Uh, and then we'll wipe it all down and actually reassess the finish. Okay, and from my perspective now, I don't, I, if I'm looking at scratch removal, I don't really need to actually uh, put a light into this because for, for me the actual difference is uh, is very clear so right guys so what we're going to do now we've degreased both sur worked surface areas so we're just going to follow the light um, just to reassess the finished areas basically what you would see outside after two or three days once the ambient temperatures started to lift any oil or filler from the panels. Right guys, so there you've got it. Um, you can draw your own conclusions as to which product is, is actually performed better on this particular clear coat, on this particular day. Um, from a test perspective, I've, I've actually applied after a minute, basically because of the running times of one of the products, I've actually then applied another spoonful of product, which I not, don't normally have to do. Now, it, it, like I said earlier, it could be the pad that they've recommended to use with the product, um, but I've then continued with exactly the same process with the P12 Extra. So it's been two spoonfuls of product and the running time has been two minutes and 30 seconds. So we've got measured out product, we've got a timed event and we've got the same machine speeds throughout the, the polishing process. Um, in my, like I said earlier, in my eyes, there is a, a very, very clear and distinct winner in this instance. Um, that's both before the degreasing and prior to degreasing sections. So if you've got any comments, put them in the comment sections below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, if you liked it, hit the like button. And failing that, I'll see you very, very soon for another Ask the Professor.